Welcome to another episode of Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism and Economic Development here on Maryland's coast. On today's show, we're going to check out the Art League of Ocean City and the Ocean City Center for the Arts, talk to Abby from Secrets, of course, have a great time with our OC girls talking about tourism in Ocean City, and then we're going to be talking with Ivy Wells and strolling around the town of Berlin. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I am Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism and Economic Development. And I'm here today with Ivy Wells, Hello. the Director of uh, Economic Development and Community Development here in the town of Berlin. And we are here to talk about all things holiday. Yes, we know we Berlin gets lit up. They have so many great activities from the parade to, I don't know, we'll talk about Ice Ice Berlin. Mm -hmm. But we are actually at Out and Delights right now um, and they have all kinds of wonderful Christmas and holiday displays and things that you can get for your trees and for your yards and for your house. So Ivy, why don't you talk a little bit about what's going on in Berlin during the holidays? So there is something for everyone here in the town of Berlin. We start off with our Sip and Shop Fridays. Ooh. Every Friday, November and December, shops stay open until 8 o'clock offering free tastings of beer and mead and wine and the beauty of it is is you get to shop and have a little taste till eight o'clock but the one thing that i know has been so popular over the years is ice ice berlin ice ice so berlin. let's talk about that so ice ice berlin is the friday after thanksgiving and it starts at five o'clock and we'll have 30 plus ice sculptures outside sponsored by the downtown businesses and the, a grant from the Maryland State Arts Council. We are dedicating a special ice sculpture for our carver, Eric Cantine, who unfortunately passed away last year. Um, this uh, event will be dedicated to him. And he was just so incredibly talented and really brought that we event alive here in Berlin. Yeah, so. we would not have this event without Eric mm -hmm. and, and so appreciative of him and he was just a, a wonderful person and he's going to be missed. And so talk about the tree lighting. Is it going on that same evening? Yeah, so the tree yeah. is lit at 6 p.m. Mayor Zach Tindall will light the tree at 6 p.m. on Friday, November 24th. So that's, of course, right after Thanksgiving yes. and, and all the, the next day is yeah. Small Shop Saturday. You mm -hmm. got to come support Shop Local mm -hmm. Small Shop Saturday on Saturday, November 25th. Yes, and that's been going on for quite some time now, and we really mm -hmm. promote that, of course, through the County Office of Economic Development, working with our local chambers of commerce, really encouraging people to shop small and shop local. So mm -hmm. um, anything else going on? We have Santa every weekend in Berlin on Artisan's Green behind the Sterling Tavern, plus Mary Marketplace on Artisan's Green, and also at the Buzz Meadery spot behind the Atlantic Hotel, Plus, free horse-drawn carriage rides Ooh. every weekend till 3 o'clock. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah. Lots, I know. <laughs> lots, there's lots going on in Berlin. Lots and lots going on. And, I'm, you know, I'm guessing that, you know, merchants will be open. They'll probably mm -hmm. be open later during the holiday shopping season. Right, Friday nights till 8 p.m. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. And and I, I know that all the merchants really work collaboratively and, and, you know, talk about what each of them have. That's the neat thing about Berlin that I love so much. You know, if right. you go into a store and they don't have what somebody's looking for, they'll sell Send them to another Berlin merchant. So I mean, you know, really, I think that um, you know the the vibe here in Berlin is just very so, much so so cool. Obviously, America's coolest small town and the <laughs> local art scene. So mm -hmm. what people don't realize is that many of our shops have local artists display mm -hmm. and sell their art on the walls in downtown. So if you're looking for a special piece of art, make sure you come downtown and look around at the uh, displays in most of the shops and restaurants have local artists. Oh, that's fantastic. And yeah. of course, the Worcester County Arts Council is here in Berlin, and I know they have art available there. And of course, oh, Jeffrey yeah. Oxer always does, you know, make an ornament. Right. And sign up, the sign glass up, blowing. sign up early for, for to make an ornament with Jeff Oxer. Hand blow your own glass ornament with Jeff Oxer. Plus, we have something new this year called the Berlin Bubble Project, where we Ooh. will be hiding um, Berlin bubbles, which are created by Jeff Oxer. They look like his ornaments, and they are scattered around Henry Park, Stephen Decatur Park, and downtown. And when you find one, you get to keep it. You register on the website. All the details are on BerlinMainStreet.com. I was going to say, where should people go to get the whole rundown of everything? Yep. So BerlinMainStreet.com. BerlinMainStreet.com. Of course, come out to Berlin for the holidays. Um, really lighting up Maryland's coast. That's what we do. Yes. And so Let's we're really get lit excited. Berlin. <laughs> yeah. So we encourage you to come down, check out the website, and you can also get that information on visitmarylandscoast.org. Thanks, Ivy. Oh, you're welcome. One last thing. Oh. 
Uh, New Year's Eve in Berlin. Uh, the ball drop. Kids ball drop, 6 p.m. Adult ball drop at midnight with a lot of music and some fun things in between. Yeah. And it is a, it is it a, is it's a, a party. Right, yeah. and it's been rained out the last few years, so oh. we're really looking forward. Plus a laser show sponsored by um, Atlantic General Hospital. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And, of yeah. course, the next day is the Atlantic General Penguin, the swim, penguin so swim. That's great. Well, we'll see you hopefully in Berlin, and enjoy your holiday season. Bye. Windsor Tech Furniture Thermic Island offers the world's best outdoor benches for your patio, foyer, garden or shower. Over 30 different benches in stock. We have Chippendale, Curved Arm, Lutyen and Traditional. Different styles. Rocking benches, swings, backless, counter and bar heart benches. Plus, personalized benches with laser cut images. A Windsor exclusive. We have a bench for you. Drop by your showroom and smell the teak. Or check us out at windsorteakfurniture.com. And remember, teak lasts a lifetime. Hey everyone, welcome to the Ocean City Center for the Arts. My name is Rena Thaler, I'm the Executive Director of the Art League of Ocean City, and I'm here to tell you why art matters this month and every month. Brought to you by our friends at the Ocean Downs Casino. So I'm joined by Megan burak Lowe, our Education and Marketing Assistant, and Megan, every month they say, so Megan, <laughs> what's happening in the galleries this month? So yeah. tell us, what's showing? What, do we, what could people expect to see if they come up here to 94th Street to the Ocean City Center of the Arts? Yes, so in our Thaler Gallery, we have the um, Delaware Watercolor Society, and they're not just from Delaware, they're from Maryland, Virginia, PA, kind of a regional um, group, and they are just artists that love the watercolor medium, so we have some amazing Amazing artwork. Uh, now, now we're talking my medium yes. because I know you're an oil painter. Mm -hmm. I'm a water media painter. Watercolor is to me the most beautiful um, expression of art that you can find because it's pure, it's transparent, it flows on the paper. And um, this is a beautiful, beautiful exhibit. There's mm -hmm. about 50 works in here and just really gorgeous watercolor. So um, come on up and see that. Yeah. And then in the uh, Sisson Gallery, I know we have a really special show this month as well. Yes, so it's Eastern Shore Heritage. We're celebrating the Eastern Shore. Um, we have a ton of work up there, over 60 some pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and and this was sponsored by a grant by yes. the um, Beach to Bay Heritage Areas and uh, Waterways. And so. Um, we really pulled out all the stops yeah. for this show. This was an open call to artists and um, as you said, 60 some odd artists participated and a lot of different types of artwork up yeah. there. And then uh, lots of other things in the studios and the gallery. You yeah, know, the we actually have a really special one in um, the Spotlight Gallery, Marla and the Dude from uh, 98.1 yes, are you showing love, their work in there. If you love uh, uh, Ocean 98 mm -hmm. radio station, um, that's what it's cool about this art center because it, the artists who show their work here are members of our community mm -hmm. and Marla and the Dude are both artists themselves and um, we've asked them to do a little exhibit of their artwork and it's really both of their styles are so different yeah but very very cool so I definitely stop in and, and see that and and lots and lots of classes mm -hmm. and things going on as yeah, well we've got some holiday classes um, coming up and we've got a bunch of free classes as well um, and then our originals only um, is at the end of the month um, so definitely check out our website. Yep, this is, a, this is the time of year that you could come in and make something for the holidays, or the holiday gifts. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we have everything coming up from flower arranging to epoxy cutting charcuterie boards yeah. and uh, lots of painting classes, glass. Um, they can make Christmas decorations or menorahs. Um, yep. So uh, definitely good time as, as it gets cooler to come on up to the Art Center. And, and we are open every day, so people, I mean, it's a great place to bring guests to come and visit the Art Center. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also that time of year where we're gonna be celebrating Thanksgiving and, and giving back. Yes. And um, so Giving Tuesday is a big initiative of the Art League and other organizations on the shore. Mm -hmm. And then we're also having our Trees for the Arts at um, Winter, Winterfest this year. Mm -hmm. um, and you can go ahead and um, vote for your favorite trees down there. That'll run through the end of December. Right, and so this is a special year for the Art League and um, we're standing in front of one of our uh, uh, displays here and there are several of these. The Art League actually started in 1963 and um, this shows the original home of where we were located which is now the building known as City Hall and you can see um, the development of it. Um, this kind of goes through the 1980s when the building that was here before the Art Center was here and so part of our Giving Tuesday campaign is that we're 
um, looking towards the future, the future of the arts, and uh, your donations will support our Future of the Arts campaign and all of our youth programmings that go on. And as Megan mentioned, many of them are free. So we hope that you'll support us. You can find more ab out about it on our website, mm -hmm. ocart.org. Visit us on 94th Street. We're open every day, okay. seven days a week. And we hope to see you up here, um, bring a little art to your life. Maybe come and make a little pottery or um, take a painting class. Visit the galleries, take home a little piece of art, some gifts from the gift shop, and uh, get your holidays started right. Mm -hmm. Sign up and win up to a cool 500 and free play instantly. <laughs> oh, shell yeah! Reel in big jackpots via shark at the tables. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Introducing Lila Cavallo, the lilac horse, an ode to women in all their glory. Lila Cavallo is where style meets sophistication. Exquisite ladies' clothing that redefines fashion. Clothing and accessories for the modern woman. Our boutique offers a blend of classic refinement with uncomplicated whimsy, perfect for every occasion. Experience the allure of elegance. Lila Cavallo. Visit us online or on the avenue in Rehoboth Beach. Hello and welcome to Secrets, Jamaica, USA, located on 49th Street in Ocean City, Maryland. Secrets is open Thursdays at 4 p.m., Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 11 a.m. Stop in and join us for daily happy hour specials from 4 to 7, including half-price jerk chicken and steamed shrimp. We have dinner specials, including our half-price ribs on Sundays. Join us Friday, December 1st from 6 to 9 p.m. for our annual Holiday Bazaar. $15 admission gets you a welcome champagne toast, butlered hors d'oeuvres, and private shopping access to the area's finest boutiques and specialty vendors. It's football season and we have the Sunday ticket. Watch all of our games and don't miss a play on our big screen, including 22 HD TVs in the nightclub with stadium surround sound. For your complete entertainment lineup, food and drink specials, and upcoming events, please visit Secrets.com. Have you taken a tour of the distillery yet? Tours are available Fridays and Saturdays from 11 to 5 p.m., so book yours today. See how we make our award-winning spirits and learn about the Prohibition era with over a million dollars of antiques from the early 1900s. Tours are $15 and include three tastings of your choice. Make your reservations today at secretsdistilling.com. The Atlantic Beverage Center is open every day at 9 a.m., located at 51st Street in the new Area 51 building with over 3,500 square feet. The ABC store offers a wide selection of wine, beer, and spirits. Stop in from 2 to 5 and take 10% off everything in the store, including Secrets ready-to-drink cocktails, Orange Crush, Electric Lemonade, and Big Bamboos. Take advantage of the Secrets Distilling Bottle Buyback Program and bring in an empty bottle of Secret Spirits and get $2 off your next Secret Spirits purchase. Welcome to your next memory. Secrets Events is proud to present Area 51, Ocean City's newest weddings and event venue. With panoramic views of the bay and custom-built interior design, this one-of-a-kind multi-use space is out of this world. Impress guests with handcrafted cocktails, premium seated buffet, and reception dinners. Whether your gatherings are large or small, you'll create memories with family and friends, bond with business associates, or host your next biggest fundraiser. See and book it now at secretsevents.com. We hope to see you soon. Whether it's at Secrets, Secrets Distilling Company, the new Atlantic Beverage Center, or Area 51, Ocean City's newest wedding and event venue, find us and get lost. Hey guys, what's up? Scott and Lennox here from Hooked on OC, and I am in the pleasure of joining my good friend Steve Pastusak. We are here at Jolly Roger and Speed World, somewhere between 32nd and 33rd Street, where all the fun stuff happens during the summer. And there's going to be some fun stuff happening here in just a little while with the Black Friday sale. He's here to tell us all about. It's an insane deal. So pay close attention. What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, Scott. See you. How's everything going? Good? No, no, pretty good, good, pretty good, pretty good. Good summer here at the, at the Yeah, park. I had a great summer. Good. Yeah, sunshine and blue skies most of the time in Ocean City. That's all we can ask That's for. That's what you guys ask for here, man. Water yeah. park and speed world, the biggest, uh, like, whatever you call this area. Cyclone. Right the cyclone yeah. is the biggest cook, like, what, wooden roller coaster. Wooden roller coaster right Go-kart in the country. Or something. Yeah, something. Yeah, I always there. forget, but yeah. it's huge. So come check it out. Not to mention all the other go-kart tracks and the huge water park here. And you guys can get a discount on this stuff. Forget the pier. Oh, the, the pier the downtown. Pier, that, big thing yeah, downtown. The, that giant thing with the Ferris wheel. Yeah, pay a little bit of attention to that, right? <laughs> Jolly Roger Park down there as well, also on the right on the boardwalk, right off the boardwalk. Um, and you can get a sale on all of this stuff, guys. You're gonna come here Black Friday. We just talked about it. It's November the 24th, Black Friday, where everybody's having Black Friday sales. This one, it's best to be here in person, man. Tell me about it. You have to be here in person. That's what I mean. Yeah. 50% off. 
That's insane. We were talking math before. Yeah. 50% off 50 is. 50% off 100 is half. Yeah, half off. And 100 is paying full price. All of our passes. <laughs> That's nuts. That's nuts. Nobody's so paying full price. season long Nobody's pass. Paying Nobody's paying up full price here. Wow. Half off. Yeah, that's really, really good. And it's only on Black Friday in person, right? Only on Black okay. Friday, only in person, only here at Jolly Roger at 30th Street yeah. in the Speed World building. That's insane. So, you guys, you see Speed World right out in front of the building. You can't miss it. You got the checkerboard pattern going on. It's inside the building. You're going to have all kinds of other stuff going on, too, right? Decorations, but you also have like decorations and milk and free hot chocolate, stuff. free cookies, pictures. Um, we're going to do some, uh, some crazy stuff. Little something we didn't tell you about beforehand. Huh? 2024 is going to be our 60th anniversary. No way. Yes, we got some Dude, surprises here and there. Man, you know, awesome. There'll be some stuff throughout the season next yeah. year. But we're also going to offer a calendar. Anybody who spends a certain amount of money and comes in, yep. we're going to give them a free 60th anniversary calendar. That's very cool, man. All right, I can't be here on Friday, November 24th. You got something for me? No, nothing. Okay. Pay for awesome. price. All right. How about other, other people? How about Cyber some, Monday. Oh, Cyber so Monday. Cyber Monday, I can't make it. Cyber Monday, I'm online. What's my discount? 30% like off. Okay. Jolly Santa 2024. Dave, right. Dave and the crew will do that right here so you don't mess it up, right? <laughs> Jolly Santa 2024 all together. You can't make it on Friday. You got something else you got to do that's more important. I, I can't tell what that would be. But you can't be here on Friday. Come, or come Monday. You can just do it right in your house. Cyber Monday online. What's the website? JollyRogerPark.com. JollyRogerPark.com. Very simple. Go to check out Jolly Santa 2024, right? 2024. Jolly, Jolly Santa 2024 at the bottom. 30% off. And that's, and that's a huge deal. Everything again. All yeah. our passes. Speed World, Splash Mountain, Jolly Roger, Jolly Roger at the Pier, Mini Golf, everything we sell. Gotcha. So basically, you just feel you're doing an online purchase. Plug that into the coupon code. There you go. Bam, ready to go. Why pay 100%? You can't. You, there's no. I don't want to pay 100% for much that, of anything. There you so, go. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome, dude. Anything else? What do you expect for 2024 with the 60th anniversary? That's pretty awesome. I think it's going to be a good year. And again, sunshine, blue skies. We have the beach. Yeah. We, have, we have the ocean. Yeah. Ocean City is a great place. Uh, we'll have a few things here and there. We'll have some ceremonies and some giveaways and things like that throughout the season. So we'll see what happens. That's awesome, man. Awesome 2023 for you, bro. Yeah, look great. Look forward to seeing you again in 2024. Thanks for everything you do with us. Thank you. And folks, like you said, Black Friday, November the 24th, in person. Hours again, Steve? 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We may open a little early and stay a little late. Who knows? Listen, that's if people are here early and people keep coming. That's how that's going to work. Cyber Monday, I'm guessing midnight on Cyber Monday, it cuts off. 30% off on Cyber Monday. Go to JollyRogerPark.com. Jolly Santa 2024. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays to you and yours. Welcome to Beach and Beyond. I am Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism here on Maryland's coast. And I am in beautiful Ocean City, Maryland, on the bay behind the convention center. It is a stellar, sunny, beautiful fall day. And I have some guests with me today. We have Jessica Waters with the Town of Ocean City Thank Tourism and me. Communication. Thank you so much. And of course, Amy Thompson, the Executive Director with the Greater Ocean City Chamber of Commerce. Happy to be here. And we are talking about exciting things going on this fall, leading up into the winter. Ocean City doesn't stop anymore. So <laughs> Jessica, really let's talk about what's going on. We <laughs> have beefed up more than ever before the performances that are taking place at the Ocean City Performing Arts Center. Um, we're also offering a membership, so you're going to want to get online, explore all of the benefits that you get from being an Ocean City Performing Arts member. But we're bringing in acts like Stomp, rumors of Fleetwood Mac on your feet. So we have Broadway shows, we have uh, musical entertainment, we have kid shows, we have adult shows. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Ro Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm looking Picture forward show. to that one, never seen it. <laughs> so, so many people are excited about yeah. that one. So yeah. you'll find all this information. I know it's a lot, but we have it all listed um, on OCOcean.com. So you're gonna wanna go there, look at, look at Sunfest and look at the Performing Arts Center for a uh, trust me, a very full calendar of events in Ocean City. And it's great to see that center, you know, fully utilized. The sound system's been oh upgraded. It's, it's very comfortable. It's just beautiful. It's lots of great parking. So for all of our locals to enjoy it, as well as our guests coming in, um, you mm -hmm. know, for the weekend to, to take on a show. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, then right after that, we kind of go into our winter season Holiday. and winter fest, uh, middle of November. Mm -hmm. And Amy, I know the Chamber really gets involved with Winterfest in the county, and so talk a little bit about Winterfest and how you guys get involved with 
really lighting up the whole town. Yeah, so at Winterfest, you know, is that, that classic experience up at Northside Park. And so there will be the walking tour is kind of the primary mode of getting around this year. Um, but there will also be kind of a back and forth tram option as well and bigger and better um, displays as well. But the chamber gets involved by inviting businesses and residents to light it up. And we actually have an app where people can track all the way through the island just to see how people have decorated for the season. I'm a big fan of ooing and aahing over <laughs> lights. I have not gotten over that since childhood. So, you know, it's a way for us to kind of give back to the community and get everyone out and about because this shoulder season just keeps extending beyond. Mm -hmm. And we're just really thrilled to be part of continuing that tradition too. Sure, and I think it's great. You know, people can go up and enjoy Winterfest and then go through town, visit the businesses, and the fact that you make it a competition. Yeah. So they really step fun. it up and, and it's a lot of fun. And also throughout the county, throughout Maryland's coast, you know, Berlin, Snow Hill, and Pocomoke, as well as Ocean Pines, um, they do their own special holiday um, events, you know, between Dickens Christmas and Snow Hill, the Victorian Christmas, and Ice Ice Berlin that goes on right in Berlin, and of course, Pocomoke has all of their great events and activities and and the, they have a decorating contest at Ocean Pines as well so you can come enjoy everything going on the island and then you can go on and just enjoy everything going on up and down Maryland's coast so it's a lot of fun so holiday fun. season is great here the fall like you said it's that second season lots going on and then of course we lead right into New Year's and all that fun stuff as well so it's hard to believe you know I think Ocean City is no longer I think we can all agree just a summer destination we are really packing in the calendar. Um, one thing I should mention, we also have a new app uh, both for our special events and for the Performing Arts Center. So again, go to the website, you'll find more information on all the ways to stay up to date and all the things we have going on in Ocean City. Gotta love the technology. So for everything to do and see <laughs> in the fall, the holiday season, be sure to visit ococean.com and we can't wait to see you and have a great holiday season and great fall season. So thanks. We'll see you soon we hope. Thank you. Get wild on your beach vacation at Barnhill Preserve. Join us for fun events happening all summer long. Find your zen at Kangaroo Yoga or a playful breakfast at Munchin' with Monkeys. Slow down at Sippin' with Sloths or laugh it up at Kangaroos and Comedy. We also offer daily otter swims, a unique experience only offered at a few locations in the U.S. Or schedule an encounter tour and meet our animal ambassadors up close. Barnhill Preserve, the world of animals is waiting for you. And welcome to Beach and Beyond. I am Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism and Economic Development. And I am in beautiful Berlin, Maryland today with my special friend Ivy Wells, Hello. Director of Community and Economic Development here on Maryland's coast, of course. Mm -hmm. um, Ivy, there's so much going on in Berlin now, I can hardly recognize it. Yeah, um, there's you a know, lot going on. It's always better in Berlin. Better in Berlin and just the, the new stores, the new restaurants. And so we're just gonna really kind of talk about what's going on and yeah. what, what makes it better in Berlin and the new and exciting things well, going on. Right behind us is one of the reasons. We've got a new shop called Relish Decor got a ton of interesting and unique items right next door we've got treaty and they've got a bunch of clothes and earrings and all kinds of cool stuff in there but I know we've watched the transformation of these storefronts you know over the past several months and everybody's like what's going in there what's going in there well they're open and long time coming and on. it was so worth the wait I mean mm -hmm. these stores there are just you know that the owners are super nice it's incredible down here in Berlin right now getting ready for the shopping season it's a beautiful day to well, and I know, um, I know that the farmers markets are done for the season, and we'll start back up in the spring. But when we would all come down for um, farmers market, we would do the farmers market, and then walk around all the shops, grab something to eat. Um, of course, as you mentioned, with shopping season and the holiday season upon us, you know, there's going to be a great opportunity to come and check out Berlin. So I know everybody wants to hear about any new restaurants in town. So what it's do we always, have? Hey, the, <laughs> all about the food. The, it's always about the food. Mm -hmm. Where am I going to get something to eat yeah. or drink or yummy dessert? So we've got a bunch of places. Um, Mandala Pies opened up. You can watch them make their pies right in the window. You can peek in. Incredible pies. Right next door we've got um, Second Wave Coffee and Social. She's going to be featuring a lot of locally baked products with Ceremony Coffee brewed right in Annapolis, Maryland. That's opening up soon. And now we are at 410 Social. Yes. One of Berlin's hottest, newest, newest spots. Pie. And it's we were just inside. Absolutely a fun vibe, local hangout, but really kind of chic, the beautiful mural. So, 
you know, tell the story about 410 Social and a little bit so, about their menu maybe. Right, so 410 Social, this has been a variety of places over the years, but I think it's finally found the spot. Yes. 410 Social made it their own. They redid the entire inside. It's a new menu. The locals love to come here. Beautiful artwork on the walls. They serve brunch on the weekends. Love the food here. Of course, besides 410 Social, I know there's a number of other restaurants. So Rody Joe's. Rody Joe's. Joe's. We are so privileged to have Rody Joe's open up a location here. They have one in Salisbury. Mm -hmm. They are here now in Berlin on Main Street, all the way at the intersection of 113 and Main Street. Great local folks who just know how to have a good time. Amazing food at Rody Joe's. And they have some outdoor seating as well. Mm. And the fact that they're right across from the ball field, so anytime there's an event or tournaments, um, we're, we were always like, let's have something really cool and great here and I think again just like 410 it looks like that place is going to stick here in Berlin so uh, yeah, super you, exciting. One thing about Berlin you will not go hungry. <laughs> We've got almost 20 restaurants and, and sweet shops here. Well and we have another really cool business to spotlight Island Creamery. They just won a major acknowledgement award right? Best ice cream in the country by USA Today. I mean just incredible. Yeah and, it's so you delicious. Know, and again it's, it's a delicious. family owned you know they've got multiple locations but but they've really found their spot in a little niche here in Berlin yeah. and so so what else can we talk about I know we've got you said 20 eateries but what are some other new things the pizza Captain oh, Slice. Oh Captain Slice so I had it just I last know. week. He creates the most unusual and delicious items and Very toppings soft. on his pizza. He collaborates with uh, Toby Gilbert over at Gilbert's Provisions and every week there's some kind of new pizza <laughs> you've got to come and try cat and slice pizza for sure and i know the globe has some a new vibe going there as well L live they have music a, yeah. so and a yeah. variety of our places now uh, feature live, live music, music on the weekends the village lounge sisters the globe Sterling Tavern all have live music on the weekends now. And one cool thing about Berlin that I know I've seen over the years is just the, you know, the way they give back to. All of these restaurants, all of these places do fundraisers for local charities and yeah. do a lot of local engagement. And so I think that's really why they have been so successful and really supported each other as we've seen um, Berlin kind of grow over the years and become the really, really amazing place that it is. And what's our, what's our tagline now? It's better in Berlin. It's better in Berlin. So come see us. Feel the magic of the season as you wander your way through an immersive winter wonderland at Ocean City, Maryland's Winter Fest of Lights. Let imagination flourish at Northside Park with thousands of twinkling lights and larger-than-life animated Christmas scenes. Sip hot chocolate, snap a photo of Santa, and enjoy the array of holiday exhibits under the illuminating holiday lights. Find your magic at Winter Fest of Lights, an Ocean City, Maryland family tradition. Open November 16th through December 31st. Get tickets at Oceocean.com or Northside Park. Thank you so much for watching today's show. We hope you join us every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. on WMDT for Beach and Beyond.